So before I get into today's video, I just want to wish everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody out there is enjoying themselves. I hope everybody is spending time with their family, eating a lot of food, which is pretty much what I'm going to do on Thanksgiving. That's how you have the perfect Thanksgiving. But anyway, yeah, like I said, I hope everybody out there is having a happy Thanksgiving, a great Thanksgiving, and let's just get into this video. So as you guys see here, we have this AJ Styles figure. And there's a reason why I wanted to make this video today, because today is Thanksgiving, and this is a figure that I am very grateful for. I'm grateful for all my figures, even the ones that are still in the packaging, but this one has got to be the one that I appreciate the most. So, sorry to all the other figures, but it's just this one is one of my favorites. So, as you all know, I'm a huge mark for AJ Styles. He's one of my favorite wrestlers. It's torn between him, Omega, Okada... Um, Cena, Rollins, Moxley, uh, Pac, I got a list of wrestlers, Johnny Organo, but that is for a different video. So as you guys see, like I said, we have this AJ Styles, I'm gonna move it up just a little bit so you guys can see it. So I wanted to share something with you guys. As you all know, I collect AJ Styles figures. I have a big AJ Styles collection, if not maybe the biggest. 36 AJ Styles figures, and this is number 36. So, as you all know, in 2017, at Comic-Con, I think, Ringside released images of an upcoming AJ Styles figure. That would be the Toys R Us Big Book item, I think. I don't know if it was the Big Book item, but... This figure would be the Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive, and it would be in stores in 2017. So when I heard that this figure was hitting stores, I immediately just did everything I could and I went to Toys R Us. And when I went there, I asked them because I didn't see it on the shelf and then they said, well, somebody asked us to hold it, but that's all we know. And from there, every time uh, I went to get this figure, every time I went there to look for this figure or try and get it, it wasn't there. So... I've actually been screwed out of this figure multiple times. So let me let me tell you guys that story. So other than that, I kept going back there. So that's about two stories. Then I wanted to buy it online, and it was crazy-ass expensive, and that's three. I wanted it for Christmas, didn't get it, four. I wanted, I was hoping my parents would get it, but that was a shit ton of money, so that's five. Uh, did I already say birthday? I'm not sure, but birthday, um, didn't get it, so that's six. Then... For, I think, Christmas one year, I was actually going to pay off Cloud Kid 120 to get the AJ Styles off eBay. And I was going to give him the money, but unfortunately, he got the wrong one. He got the Elite 61 AJ Styles, and I didn't give him the money for that, so I got screwed out of that. That's seven. And then kept looking online, nothing. Uh, that's eight. Um, My next... Actually, my brother's girlfriend had a son that's into wrestling, and he had this figure out of the packaging, and I was trying to see if he could come back out here, and uh, he he's come out here four times. Uh, he came out here twice and then didn't come back, and then he came back once and then again, and then I haven't seen him since. So, yeah, I've been screwed out of that, AJ, so that's four. And then... This one's actually a really weird story, but if you all remember... So anyway, if you guys remember when I went to Tennessee for a trip, um, me and my dad were actually supposed to go out to this place called Heroes and Legends Pro Wrestling Collectibles. And I looked them up, and they were somewhere around that area where we were staying, and they didn't put down their address. But I don't know how, but I was lucky enough to actually find the address on google maps and i was so happy and in the morning we got up late i don't know actually i think we, no we got up early and we drove to where the destination said it was and we'd been down that road before and hadn't seen it and then in, it said to turn and it said that we arrived and there was nothing there like, there are a few buildings, but nothing that said Heroes and Legends Pro Wrestling Collectibles are a picture with the uh, masked luchador. So I got screwed out of that again. So then, to blow off some steam, you went to Burger King and got some breakfast sandwiches. And I looked online, and my dad let me order 
and AJ off of eBay. However, that figure never got here. So that AJ never did come, and I got screwed out of that again. And it's happened more, but I still can't remember it. But those are at least the ones that I remember when it comes to mind. So then you're going to be like, well, how did you get this AJ? Well, on a Saturday in October, to be exact, I was watching YouTube on my TV, and my dad came home from work, and he asked if I checked for mail, and I said no, and he looked outside, and he saw a package that said eBay on it. It had his name, and it said that it was coming from a toy collector, and I looked at it, and he kept asking if I ordered something, and I told him no. And then, in my head, I'm like, I think I know what this is. In my head, I'm like, this is the Network Spotlight AJ Styles. And then I'm like, I asked him if I can open it, and he said no. So then, you know, I went upstairs and was scratching my head, and then he called me down, and then he told me to open it. And so I took my knife, and I sliced it, opened the box, took out the bubble wrap, and I saw this beautiful figure in the packaging. And I was so happy. And I mean this in a literal way. I was crying. Literal tears of joy. I was legit crying. Because I was so happy. Because this figure took me two different years to get. I put it on my Christmas list and I never got it. I put it on my birthday list never got it. After two long years, I finally get it. It's like the two-year curse, I guess. It's like the same thing with my authentic scale ring. I waited two years for, to get my authentic scale ring. And I guess it took me two years again to get this AJ Styles figure. And it still doesn't feel real. But, like, you know, here's the figure. I'm touching it. I'm filming a video about it. You know, I'm touching it this is legit real i swear it doesn't feel real it's like it doesn't feel like i'm supposed to own this figure but i do and i am so grateful to have this figure because this is one of the most sought after aj styles figures i've seen it's one of the rarest aj styles figures i've ever seen and plus this is actually my last toys r us purchase considering toys r us closed the stores However, I did read something the other day that said that Toys R Us is coming back. But it's not going to be called Toys R Us. It's going to be called TRU Kids. But to our hearts, we're still going to call it Toys R Us. So yeah, it's kind of emotional because it's my last Toys R Us purchase. It's also my first eBay purchase. And that's actually where my dad got this. He got this off eBay. But... I do love this AJ. This is one of my most favorite figures in my collection. I'm actually looking to buy a figure defender online from ringside. I'm hoping to get that in for Christmas. That way I can uh, put it in there and then display it up on my wall. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. So that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to sh share this with you guys. It's sort of like a story that I just wanted to share. And what better way to do it than on Thanksgiving? Now, there will be another holiday video, but that one will be, I think it will be Christmas. Because I did this thing last year where I, I think, told showed you guys what I got for Christmas. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to do this year. So, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm, I'm not going to ever open this. Like, I mean, I'm never going to open this. This figure is going to stay where it is. That's why if anybody out there has a loose AJ Styles Network Spotlight figure that's in great condition, doesn't have anything with quality control, and is like it's brand new out of the packaging, or if you have it and it's still in the packaging, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. That way we can work out a deal. I'll trade anything. The one thing I won't trade is AJs because, you know, I love my AJs. And I can't get rid of any of them. I'm still kicking myself because I let my first one go. And I still got to get that one back. Hopefully, um... Meme Gamer, I think that's what his name is. 67, I think? I don't know. But, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. Help me get to 300 subscribers because we are so close. And once we get to 300 subscribers, I will review all of my AJ Styles figures. But these are just the customs. 
So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. And one last thing. Tomorrow is Friday. Black Friday. Don't go out there and get yourself killed. I'm staying inside and just watching some old reruns of SpongeBob, I think. But that's how I'm going to spend it. Don't go out there and get killed on Black Friday because, trust me, those people are insane.